Um, in Matthew 9, verse 1 to 8, I'm just going to read what it says. Jesus stepped into a boat, crossed over and came to his own town. Some men brought him a paralytic lying on a mat. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. At this, some of the teachers of the law said to themselves, This fellow is blaspheming. Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said, Why do you entertain evil thoughts in your heart? Which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven, or to say get up and walk? But so that you may know the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, Get up, take up your mat and go home. And the man got up and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were filled with awe, and they praised God who had given such authority to men. Now what Jesus did for that man 2,000 years ago speaks to us now in so many ways. Firstly, it speaks about salvation. Like the man who was unable, was unable to move, we're powerless to do anything about our sin. We can't change that situation. It's only when Jesus sets us free, by what he did on the cross for us, when he shed his blood and he died and rose again, that we can now have a new life, free from the sin that enslaves us. We become spiritually what we were created to be, just like the man healed from the paralysis becomes, became physically what he was intended to be. It may be that you're in need of physical healing, and if that's the case, there's evidence in those verses I've just read that Jesus is able to help. Notice that he told the man his sins were forgiven, and then the healing flowed straight after that. The Bible tells us that Jesus paid the price for our sickness as well as our sin. Have a look in Isaiah 53, verse 4 to 5. So he offers forgiveness of sins and healing to those who will accept him. Now like Jesus spoke those powerful words to the paralytic, if we're born again Christians abiding in him and his word, then we can speak his word too and others can be healed and set free by us speaking the word of the Lord to them. And it may be that we as Christians sometimes feel stuck in a situation, maybe like that paralytic we can't move, until we hear a word from Jesus that tells us that we can for our situation. And if that's the case, let's just look to him in faith, because as long as we're walking with him and not trying to rush ahead or force his hand, he will give that word at exactly the right time. And as we can see, there is great power in the word of God. When the paralysed man woke up that morning, do you think he had any idea of how his life was about to change? He went from being unable to move to total freedom, and his life was transformed, and it's all because of a word from the Lord.